Hey guys, in this video we're going to be checking out the battle pass and seeing all the cool stuff in it and deciding if you should consider getting it or not. Alright, so when you get to the battle pass, the first thing I want to talk about is how to actually level up and progress in the battle pass. If you come right here to the top of your screen and click this, here you'll get a bunch of missions. These ones are dailies, they reset every single day. This one's weeklies once a week and then this one's for the entire duration of the battle pass. These ones are really great to do because they give a ton of nameless XP. So these ones are really good. Alright, and the next thing I'm going to mention is the treasure of the Starry Sea. If you come up here to the top right and click this. At about level 30 on the battle pass, you'll be able to pick one of these light cones that you want. You get to pick any one, but you only get one. And this is per battle pass, so you'll the next battle pass you'll be able to get another one of these. So make sure you choose wisely on which one you get, as you would want to level them up. Alright, and the next thing I'm going to mention is the actual battle pass and the rewards you get from it. If you come here to the top left. So the rewards you get on the battle pass typically are a bunch of like XP boosters for your character light cones. One of the best things I think about this battle pass is the sheer amount of just credits you get to help you level up your character in the future. Also just by doing the battle pass there's a bunch of fuel that you can earn. If you do end up buying the battle pass here there's also one more cool thing to note. So about every five levels you get these cool boxes. This one's called the gift of the past riders. And what's in it, you get a bunch of resource options that you could choose from to help you ascend your character and level up your tracers. Personally, I've used these and they help a lot, and they save a ton of energy. When you start ascending in the battle pass, you start getting better material, as you can see here. Most of you probably won't need this until you're about level 50, I'd say. And by completing the battle pass, you get a really good amount of stellar jades, and then you get a grand gift of path strider. And then you get some more materials here to help you ascend when you do reach level 50. Alright, and so the last thing we're going to be talking about is actually purchasing the battle pass. So there's two versions of the battle pass that you can purchase. The only difference is if you buy the second one, it raises your level on the battle pass instantly by 10 levels. You also get these two little cool avatars. You get 200 stellar jades and you get 5 fuel. So the normal battle pass is $10 and then the nameless metal is 20 Personally, I bought the 20 just because I had some extra money to spend. But you absolutely don't need the second one. If you want to purchase just the first one, I think this is still great. You'll still get all your credits and path striders. You also get four rolls right here and a bunch of stellar jades as well. If you do have extra money to spend and you want to buy the nameless metal, then go ahead. But just know all you're really getting is two avatars, 200 stellar jades, and five fuel. You also get 10 levels instantly, which is pretty nice. It'll help you complete the battle pass sooner, but it's definitely not required. So if you just want to buy the nameless glory, that's perfectly fine. It's up to you what you do here. All right, if you guys watched till the end, thank you very much. Please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one.